In this video, we're going to take a look at importing images into the software. Now, again, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. The first way is to create your drawing. So here you can see I've created a model that is 12 inches square. And if I take a look at my desktop and make this smaller, I've got some images here. So what you can do is just drag and drop them into the software and it will automatically want to open your image. Now, the problem with doing this is that it wants to maintain the aspect ratio. So if I were to say I wanted this to be 12 inches in height, you can see that the width changes as well. So it keeps that aspect ratio, okay? So if I select OK, it will open up the model for me. Now, I'm not too fussed really about the sizes because what you can do is just create vectors around this and then just copy the vectors, create a new model and paste the vectors in there. So it's not really an issue. Now, if you take a look under bitmaps, open that up, you can see that I've got this sparrow number one. And I can turn that on or off with the light bulb. So another way to do this is if you go to file and open, and it will do exactly the same thing. Select the sparrow and open. This will do exactly the same. Give me the dialog box to set it up. So I'll just select OK. Another way that you can do this is to create a new model. Let's say that I want this to be 12 inches by 12 inches. OK. Select OK. Let's take a look in the 2D view. Now you'll see that there is something called bitmaps. So these are bitmap layers. So this is where any images that you import, this is where they go and this is how you can turn them on or off. Okay, so if I select right click and select import, this is another way that you can import an image into the model. So let's go to desktop. Let's select my sparrow and I'll select open. Now you can see on the right hand side that I've got this sparrow open. Obviously there's a problem with this. The reason that there is a problem is because it's just opened it up at its original pixel size. And I don't really want that. I need to make it fit within this model. So if I delete that, just right click on it and delete it and then go to import again. Let's select there for the sparrow. Now down the bottom here, you have something called scaling. So at the moment, I imported it with no scaling. If I click the drop down, I've got fit, fill, or stretch, which do pretty much similar sort of thing. I wouldn't really advise using stretch because it will change the actual image and it will distort it. So you can either use fill or you can use fit. I tend to normally use fit just so it fits within that model. Select open. And there you can see it actually fits within the model. I can also load in a second one. So if I go to import and then let's load in, let's say this one. Again, I'll use fit, select open. and it opens that sun for me. Now what I can do, I can switch between these. So if I go to Sparrow, Sun, I can switch between them. Go back to the original layer. So that's how you import images into the software. Now, I haven't discussed what type of images. So if you go to Import, All Supported Types, so you can see all of the image types available to import down the bottom here. 
So that's how you import images into Carve Code Maker.